If you know me, you know there's certain things that I love. If you don't know me, well, here's a short list. I love food, Jack Daniels whiskey, boobs, guns, America, internal combustion engines, and the F word. But one thing you may not know that I love is Dolly Parton. Why? Not just because of the boobs, but because she's Dolly f***ing Parton. Yes, I love Dolly Parton. Not ashamed to admit it. Absolutely angelic singing voice. Absolutely an amazing person with all the charity work she does. Uh, you know, she invested in the, in the vaccine research. She does the books for kids. Dollywood, the things she did for the people who were affected by the fire. She's just an absolute all around amazing person. She was nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and she put out a statement saying she doesn't feel like she deserved it. Well, I call bullshit. If anybody deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Dolly Parton's an absolute get her in there. So in honor of that and to support her being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where she belongs, I'm making this recipe that was mentioned in the movie Steel Magnolias, which is a great movie and I'm not ashamed to admit that either. This was called the Cuppa Cuppa Cake. It was in the, uh, we were talking about it in the hair salon and it's, she describes it as, or her character Truby describes it as, a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, and a cup of fruit cocktail with the juice. Now, to be honest with you, that's close to what it is, but the first time I tried it using those directions, it didn't quite come out so good. So we made some adjustments, scientifically, of course, and we came up with the correct formula. That's what we're doing today. Cup of cup of cup of cake. Let's get it done. Good Lord, I need a haircut. So medium mixing bowl, we're gonna go in with one cup of self-rising flour. In the movie, she describes it as one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, which is going in there, and then one cup of fruit cocktail with the juice. We're gonna adjust that as well. So get yourself a Babish approved mixing device and we're gonna combine the flour and the sugar. We want it kind of dispersed evenly this way. It's, well, dispersed evenly. So give it a good mix and spin it around. You know what you're doing. What's your favorite Dolly Parton song? Mine's a tie between Jolene and Nine to Five. White Stripes did a great cover of Jolene, by the way. So now we're gonna go in with a whole can of fruit cocktail with the juice. Make sure you shake it out because some of them like to stick to the side. And then once that's in, we're gonna take a spatula and we're gonna mix this up thoroughly. We're gonna make sure there is no dry spots of flour. We want this moistened throughout because if it's not moist, it's not good. You know what I mean. I know what I mean. And yeah, I did mean it to sound like that. So anyway, Mix it up until it's fully combined. No dry spots. We want everything as homogenous as possible. This just looks so, I, I gotta be honest, I tasted this even before baking it and it was it was good just as is. I mean, I got a sweet tooth, so this was uh, really nice. So once it's fully mixed, we're gonna go with an eight by eight glass baking dish that we have very generously sprayed with cooking spray. And that is very important because this has a lot of sugar and you don't want it to stick. I mean, it sticks even with the lubrication. So be very generous. You can use butter, you can use spray, whatever melts your butter, actually. But whatever makes you happy, use that, but just be very, very generous with it. Get all of it in, waste not, want not, you know what I mean? There we go. This is delicious. This is one of those things that just surprised the crap out of me of how good it really was. Now, once it's in, give it a little jiggle. We're gonna stick it into a 350 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes until it's golden brown and bubbly. Just like that, look how good that looks. Oof, so good. Now we gotta let this cool down until it's warm. I love warmed baked goods with ice cream. In the movie, she says that she cuts the sweetness by serving it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and she was right it is perfect so get yourself a nice scoop of this oh just like that now we're gonna get ourselves a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream obviously the best you can find and afford now you can use uh, vanilla frozen yogurt if uh if that's what makes you happy and fits but it it's good look at that look how beautiful that is look how delicious that is that my friends is good eating and I'm gonna go stuff it in my face right now. Look at that, it's still warm. The ice cream's cold. I love hot baked goods mixed with cold ice cream. It's amazing, brownies and this, this is good. Mm, it fell in. <laughs> That's really good. Wow. 
Looksy. Looksy. This was the right mix. This is delicious. A little more ice cream. Mm -hmm. So there you go. We adjusted cup a cup a cup of cake into cup a cup a little more than a cup of cake, but that's what needs to be done to get it right. This is absolutely delicious, and you should make this. Make this because it's delicious, and make this because you want to support Dolly Parton going into the whole Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where she belongs. This is an easy recipe, few simple ingredients, very cheap and very, very delicious. If you like this, if you like Dolly Parton, shout it out down in the comments. If you got a suggestion of something you want to see me make that's not this, drop it down in the comments. You want to tell me I'm fat, ugly, and I suck? Drop that down in the comments. I love that. I thrive on that. But please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. I really appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.